Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf model 22 SW. This particular couple's unit comes in at 5,464 pounds unloaded as we see it here today and is 27 feet 6 inches in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and take a look at all the awesome features and show you all the ins and outs of this compact couples unit. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside and we'll start in the living area. Let's go take a look. All right guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new 2021 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf model 22SW. And we'll go ahead and we'll start in the living area. So as you can see, right now we're looking at the main seating area. So this is more of a true couples unit. What I mean by that is there's no guest accommodations uh, unless you really want to put somebody on a, you know, an air mattress on the floor. Uh, the standard seating arrangement here is going to be a theater seat as we're looking uh, here in this particular trailer uh, today. And again, that's that's the way we're going to order them 10 times out of 10 just because you don't often find a true couples unit. As you can see, the recliner on the left is kicked back. Uh, that will recline a little bit further. Um, there's a slight adjustment for transit uh, that uh, we need to do on that to make it recline all the way, but that's something that we do at no extra charge for you. Um, you can also see that this is a little bit wider theater seat, being that you have the two cup holders side by side instead of stacked front to back. In here, you're also going to have the remote control storage, and each one of these seats is going to have the lights, heat, and massage, which is pretty cool. And those are manual reclines, so you can actually use these uh, when you're boondocking. You can also see over there you have these uh, removable tables, uh, almost like TV trays. There's two of them. Again, I just have the one set up currently. That way you, you can see that the, the chair does recline. Over here you're going to have your zebra shades for the living area, so the cool thing about these is you can lend in as much or as little light as you want. And if we look back there you'll notice how they frame out all of their windows in the main living area, which is pretty cool. Um, you're also going to have the blue accent light, and uh, you can turn that off if you want. I kind of like them but not everybody is that way and this will give you a better look of what it looks like um, without the blue disco lights. And then on the other side you're gonna have your kitchen which we'll talk about here in a little bit um, but also directly across from the theater seats is gonna be your entertainment center. So right here you can add a pretty good sized TV um, I would say about a 40 inch and you've got your cable and power as well as two USB ports there and one cool thing is all of these countertops in this trailer, whether it's on the little TV trays, the main kitchen, the bathroom, or even this little ledge here, are a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop. Uh, and then you can kind of see right along here how you have the simulated live edge where it kind of slopes away, which is pretty nice. Um, a lot of people really like that. If we drop down, you have a nice little component shelf right there. So if you want to add a Blu-ray player, a DVD, CD player, or a you know a gaming console or anything like that, you can. And then right here, you're going to have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth uh, stereo system. The cool thing about that, that's made by a company called Driven, and that'll control the interior and exterior speakers. But one cool thing that they do is they give you a 200-watt subwoofer uh, as part of that stereo system. It sounds amazing once you uh, have it turned up all the way. It, it uh, really adds to the, the the acoustics from that stereo system, and I really like that. You're also going to have the optional 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down below. Um, not every single one of these that we have, or will have, is going to have uh, this particular feature, but this particular one does. If we look down on the floor, you'll notice you have no cabinet or you have no in-floor ducted heating. Um, this has cabinet ducted heating and you can kind of see one right there above those two drawers. Um, that's going to keep, you know, dog hair, dirt, 
snacks, you know, whatever, from getting into the heating ducts, which is really nice. And then if we talk air conditioning, this has a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman Q-Series air conditioner. So what that's going to do for you as a consumer, it's going to be a little quieter than the competition, and it uh, is a little more efficient than, say, a Dometic. So it'll cool your trailer more efficiently. It won't cool it better. It's the same BTUs as, you know, what the competition is using if they have this as an option or if you know that dealer builds it that way but the Coleman's we found are just a little more efficient kind of spin you back around this way and last thing before we open up all this storage I do want to touch on your main control panel so a couple neat things here uh, you can access your lights your water heater water pump uh, you can actually all on this particular trailer, um, since uh, this one has a Dometic water heater, you can turn on the electric from here as well. Uh, you can access your slide out and your awning, and basically anything you can do from here with the exception of your water pump, water heater, and your tank monitoring panel, you can control from your phone by scanning, by, or let me back up. You can control that from your phone by getting the LCI One Control app and scanning this QR code and that'll let you control your awning, your slide outs, and your lights. And it'll also let you control the, the uh, InSight Bluetooth camera, which I'll talk a little bit more about on the outside. You're also gonna have your thermostat for your heating and air, the prep for the LCI hotspot. Uh, basically, it's an overpriced uh, Wi-Fi prep. Um, it's kind of expensive. I believe the part is about $400, and then it's a pay by the month, or pay by the gig um, plan that you get for wireless internet on the go. And then right here you also are going to have your voltage monitor for your uh, juice pack solar panel. Um, cool thing about that, it's essentially going to tell you how many volts are left in the battery. So you could compare it to your gas tank in your car, um, or your gas gauge I should say. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the living area. Let's go ahead and we'll open up all this storage and we'll take a look at the kitchen space. And I tell you, for such a small trailer, it has a pretty good kitchen. Let's go and take a look. All right guys, so I've got all the storage opened up. So let's uh, let's start here with this walk-in pantry. Um, I think it's comical that they write the word pantry on the door as if you didn't know where it was, um, but you know, we can joke about that. All you know, and all jokes aside, this is a very good pantry. You've got tons of space in here. I also love the little coat rack right there. That's a thing so many trailers do, in my opinion, wrong. Is there's never a place to hang a jacket right by the door. Um, and this is held by a pretty strong magnet. You can hear it kind of catch in there. As we come over here into the kitchen proper, past the entertainment center, you're gonna have your microwave and hood range vent right there. If we drop down here, I do wanna to touch on this cutting board. So this is a backsplash and it's held on with outside baggage door catches, but it also is a food grade cutting board, which is pretty nice. It's functional too, and that's one thing I really like about it. You know, if something's gonna, has a dual purpose, that's just a huge bonus. Three burner cooktop, the front one is high output. And then you've got the glass cover there. Uh, it, it's funny that I have to say this, but you don't cook on the glass cooktop. I've seen people do that. I'm, I, the, that's just the cover for more countertop space. And then you have your oven down below in case you wanna you know, cook some uh, biscuits or something like that. Um, the cool thing about this, this, uh, sparker knob here will spark the oven as well as the stove. Right here you can have a little bit of storage. I really wish they would have moved this panel back because um, it would have been a great spot for a trash can. Above that you're gonna have a nice single bowl sink. Uh, that's a black stainless steel. Everybody loves this. You've got the high-rise uh, sprayer faucet and then you're gonna have the uh, uh, hand sanitizing station or uh, you know down here I could see a couple other things that <laughs> people put in that like uh, a uh, 
alcoholic beverage of your choice. Um, but th that being beside the point, um, up here you're going to have great storage. It wraps all the way around. As you can see there, it's nice and deep for all of your plates, spoons, you know, or not spoons, cups, bowls, um, all that good stuff. And then over here you're going to have two full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And if that wasn't enough storage, you have a second full pantry in the slide out next to the refrigerator. And that's one thing that makes this one a little bit longer than some of the competitions. You have this extra space here uh, that they gave to a pantry. And I absolutely love this. So many times in a couples unit, you don't get very good storage. This one you do. And then right next to that, you're going to have your 10.7 cubic foot Canon 12 volt compressor fridge. That'll run off the batteries or the solar panel uh, or the charge line on your pickup, which charges the batteries while you're going down the road. And as a kind of interesting note, you can actually run this one going down the road. Uh, Cherokee is going away from the gas electric fridges to all together. And the big reason behind that is a lot of states are now saying that you can't run your propane electric fridge going down the road. The big reason for that is they use ammonia in the gas electric fridges. Not that the gas electric fridges are bad, they just use a hazardous material, it's very flammable, and it can cause an RV fire. Um, so that's why they're going to that fridge. Um, I absolutely love it, it only uses 3 amps of power. When it's down to temp, it uses about 9 to 10 amps of power uh, when it's cooling. But it only takes an hour and a half to, to cool to temperature, which is pretty cool. You don't have to let it sit overnight like you do the gas electric fridges. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen area. Let's go ahead and we'll jump back to the bathroom and take a look at it. And I'll tell you, for a small trailer, it's got a pretty good bathroom. Let's go take a look. We'll see what you think. All right guys, so stepping up to the master bathroom. First thing you'll notice, you have a nice barn style pocket door to uh, close off the bathroom. I absolutely love the hardware they're using. Not very many brands are using this specific hardware. It's just got a real industrial look and I personally really like it. As we come into the bathroom and we make a left, you'll see your 30 by 36 inch shower. This is gonna have the slow close shower door, which is really nice. I'm about 6'2", and uh, I can fit in this shower just fine. My head does have to be in the bubble, but that's okay. At least I don't have to duck. If we look up top here, you will notice you have the bigger uh, Fantastic Vent Fan, which is pretty nice. That moves a lot more air than the what we call in this industry the fart fan. You've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet down here nice big countertop you've got plenty of room for shavers blow dryers you know things like that you're gonna have a motion sensor light right there GFI protected outlet if we look up top you're gonna notice a medicine cabinet that does have a mirror by the way and then over here you're gonna have a nice chunk of linen cabinet storage which is great uh, there is no storage under here there's some components back there that they don't want you to get to same thing with that little chunk down there uh, I believe your water heater is actually right there so plenty of storage in this little uh, this little trailers bathroom it's a lot better than some that I've seen uh, even in some of the bigger trailers they don't have this much storage in the bathroom which is really nice Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bedroom and we'll take a look at that. And I tell you, it's again, for a small trailer, it's a pretty spacious master bedroom. Let's go take a look and we'll see what you think. Alright guys, stepping into the front, you're going to notice you have the same style um, pocket door here with that awesome hardware that I really like. As we come into the bedroom, you'll notice this is a 60 by 74 camper queen. Um, so that is a short queen. Uh, you can actually get a better mattress for this from Denver Mattress, which is pretty cool. Um, and that you'll notice I don't have the lights on. Uh, part of that was me just forgetting, but also because of these windows. Um, you have this nice big window. I wish this one would open um, personally just to get you a little better cross breeze. And then back over here, you have an emergency egress window that does open. Um, and if you appreciate me not just sharing the sun sun sunshine and rainbows apparently i can't talk today either um but if you 
appreciate you, me telling you stuff that I don't like about the camper. Um, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, you're going to have some coat hooks. Again, this, they didn't have to do this, but this is nice, you know, for robes or towels or, you know, whatever. You're going to have TV hookups over there in that corner. And <laughs> this is comical. Um, for a 27 foot camper to be 50 amp is about unheard of. Um, let me know just because I'm curious. Would you want us to see, or would you want to see us bring one of these in with two air conditioners? Technically, we can do that. Um, I don't know if it's necessary. Really, I don't think it's necessary, but it's there. Uh, there's probably somebody out there that wants that. Um, up here above the top, you're going to have good storage that goes all the way across. You're going to have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. And then down here, you're going to have a nice hanging closet on each side of the bed. Uh, there is storage under the bed too. I'm just not going to try to do that one handed. Um, and again, you know, you've got your reading lights. Um, and you know, for being a pretty spacious bedroom, you could upgrade this to a 60 by 80 true queen and still have plenty of room to walk around the bed, um, which is nice. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 2021 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf model 22 SW. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump onto the outside. We'll take you around the outside and we'll see what you think. Let's go take a look. All right guys, so we're on the outside of this brand new 22 SW Alpha Wolf. So up here you have the nice three quarters fiberglass front cap. Uh, you're gonna notice you do have a docking, docking lights and there's your docking light switch. I just don't have them turned on. Down here you'll have a power tongue jack two 20 pound propane tanks. Notice you're gonna have your seven way Bargman holder and safety chain clips or clip there. And then back here, you're gonna have a group 27 series battery, which is part of that juice pack solar option. So what that is, is a 50 watt solar panel that is actually a standard now, uh, I stand corrected. Um, but the cool thing about that, that's gonna run your lights, your slide out, your awning, your water pump, water heater on gas, the refrigerator, things like that. Uh, and in future um, videos, you'll probably see some of our Alpha Wolves coming with the Juice Pack Expansion Kit, which is going to be another 100 watt panel, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting some footage of that whenever they come out here in the next month. You're going to have four corner stabilizer jacks. They are manual. Power stabilizer jacks are an option. Right here, you're going to have a termination for your gray tank for your kitchen. And if we look down underneath here, you'll notice you have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. That's going to give you some great extended season use. And the nice thing about Alpha Wolf is they are the laminated division of Cherokee, uh, along with Arctic Wolf, which is the fifth wheels. And these use a two inch sidewall in a bumper pull, which is extremely hard to find. I don't know of anybody else that's actually doing that, which is nice. Back over here, you're going to have your 50 amp service right there, your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. You're also going to have your second dump for your uh, bathroom gray and black tanks. An outside shower, a handy little what I call a hookup light, and then you're going to have your fresh water, city water, black tank flush and cable and satellite hookups all in one easy to get to area, which is really nice. Coming around to the back, you'll notice another optional piece of equipment. This is the rear travel rack. That's rated at 250 pounds, including the spare tire, uh, which is really nice. So you have about 200, 200 pounds or so to put generators and things of that sort. And then Alpha Wolves are no longer offering a rear ladder as an option or even a hidden option. Uh, these are prepped for a ladder. So if you do want to add that, uh, we can definitely do that for you. And then up top here, you'll notice you do have the LCI InSight Bluetooth rear observation camera, which is pretty cool. That's a standard thing. You don't have to pay for it. And it'll save you about 700 bucks in our parts store. Coming around to this side, you notice the three step, more ride step above steps. You're also going to notice you have the larger entry assist handle um, and the cool looking 
glass entry door. Um, you do have the window, as you can see right there, and it is thin shade ready. Power awning with LED lights in it. I just don't have them turned on currently. That'll come out about eight or nine feet, and you'll notice there's no slides on this side, which is really nice. You have a outside TV bracket, so if you want to bring the TV outside, you can, and then you'll have your <clears throat> Uh, 110 power and cable as well as your outside speakers down there you're gonna have a propane quick connect and that is for this outside kitchen so you have a nice two burner cooktop a little dump sink there's a little blue coily hose sprayer port right here in addition to your outside shower uh, you're also gonna have a portable ice maker and an outside mini fridge which is nice everybody loves that outside kitchen it's just a great option Right over here, you're going to have your leash latch. And then right here is going to be your pass-through storage. And notice how nice and finished off it is. They didn't have to finish off this top. They could have just left it all bare wood, but they didn't. And I absolutely love that. It just looks so clean and nice. Uh, you're going to have your battery disconnect right there. Motion sensor lights, one on each side. And then this is the controller for the juice pack solar panel, which is pretty cool. So that will keep your uh, solar panel from cooking your battery, basically. These are also going to have magnet holdbacks on all your baggage doors with slam latches on your compartment doors there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half. Arc or Alpha Wolf 22SW. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, uh, feel free to put those down in the comment section down below, or you can give us a call at 806-335-2336, or you can email us at contact at custom-rv.com. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and found this video informative. Uh, if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. That'll keep you up to date on all of our new trailers coming in and out. In and, out. and uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. That lets us know how we're doing. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. Remember, at Custom RV, we don't do hidden dealer fees. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men that can go camping. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.